I've worked on a number of pieces, but this is going to be the first time I'm actually going to be seeing a Fujitsu uh, Esprimo all in one piece. I'm kind of excited. Don't know what where to start. I really don't know. I haven't really opened this before, but looking at this PC, it looks super super dope. It's a complete all in one PC. Man, it's amazing. I'm interested in it. I can't wait to kind of open it up. It's really really looks like something I would even like to have myself because it's compact. See, in case you don't know what an all in one PC means, it means that you've got a monitor and you've got everything or included here on this pc we have an intel core i5 the a generation processor which is supposed to be very very fast even though it's an all-in-one pc it has a very very thin bezel like you can see from here so if you are actually wondering about space this is exactly what i can highly recommend to you this is great it's beautiful the design itself it's solid i can't seem to raise it with our hand it's very robust and this is exactly what you want to be considering we're going to be taking a look at this pc today if you look at the outside of this pc we have got two usb ports which i believe is a usb 3.1 we've got a headphone and microphone jack right here and this is the power button where you can actually go ahead and start your pc on the back of the pc it's pretty much nothing right here i see there's a dvd writer here right here perhaps just a dvd rom drive but everything looks so clean so so well built you can't even tell that this is an all-in-one system you can't tell that the pc is right here we're gonna be opening it up actually going ahead to upgrade it to perhaps a one terabyte of ssd so have a lot of space to do all what you want to do so let's say you are struggling right now you don't know what to buy you are kind of in the market you are like hey wait a minute there are so many pieces to buy right now but this is one pc i myself i'm just seeing it for the first time even though i know the fujitsu is also in the business of making all-in-one pieces but this particularly is something that you want to consider. We're going to be opening it up in a while. Like I said, this is the first time I'm going to be working on this PC. I have absolutely no idea what to expect. If it's going to be complicated, we're going to be seeing to that. But hopefully, we should be able to get to it and upgrade this thing to a minimum of 16 gigabytes DDR4 RAM as well as one terabyte of SSD. So stick around. Let's get this thing pumping. Just by way of advice, if you want to do something like this, I really encourage you or I advise you to always get a very nice surface. Even though this surface is very smooth and clean, but always get something to pad the surface so that because we're going to be flipping the PC over and we don't want anything whatsoever to happen to the screen. This is kind of good, but kind of uh, has some rough edges i'm just going to take a fresh one so that i'm sure that nothing's going to happen to this beautiful pc all right this seems to be good enough i'm just going to go ahead and try to grab a pc with one hand and then flip it over just like you can see before we begin to think of what and what not to do but this thing like i said is highly highly robust it's something that is very very well built and fujitsu like you know is a no name when it comes to the manufacturing of stuff like this so i want to expect that this is going to be a super super pc with nothing absolutely to give us any kind of troubles now that we've got that in we're just going to be trying a lot of stuff like i said it's a pc i never really worked on myself i tried to check on youtube there was no video actually showing you how to do this but this is why we are here i'm going to discover this myself and hopefully show it to you perhaps you have a pc like this you would love to upgrade so the first thing i want to do when i naturally see a pc like this is just to try to see what i can actually take off and from what i can see here it looks like there's a possibility to take this off i'm not so sure so yes that goes out like that and this is how it looks it's just a side cover like a back panel cover that actually covers the um the ports We've got additional ports right here behind and we've got a USB 3.1 port, I guess, display port, ROG 45 LAN port and the power button is right here. But the thing is, I really don't know how to go about uh, opening this PC and possibly getting to where I can actually find the SSD as well as the RAM and every other thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to open this back cover. I believe that this should be easy to take apart because there are some screws holding it right there. And if you look at this side as well, there are some screws also holding it right there we just have to be able to get into this pc somehow so we can see where the ram or the ssd should be i have no idea what to do but i see that it says pull pull and pull so i removed the knob and i was able to pull this back over and oh right here it's right here hidden so luckily for me and i didn't really remove the back cover of the pc and i see that an ssd is right here so i'm going to go ahead and pull that out so that's why sometimes when you have stuff like this always just study it you don't have to be in a hurry just study it and sometimes the solution might just be right there looking at you they didn't have to pull up anything 
The first thing I thought of was that I was gonna remove the screws right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But the beautiful thing is that I didn't have to do that. There's just a back cover holding it. If you can take a look, that's the back cover. And it goes right there. And this is very important because if this gets missing for one reason or the other, then we cannot seem to lock this anymore. Like I said, this build is absolutely wonderful. So first we'll have to take out this uh, SSD somehow. Uh, it's kind of difficult, so but I still have to, I just have to grab it somehow and try to drag it out. Okay, doesn't seem to want to come out, but definitely I should be able to take it. I think I need a rag to be able to do this. So this is also very easy to upgrade. If you have a PC like this, this video should actually help you. Like I said, I searched the whole of YouTube. I wasn't able to find a video to direct me on how to upgrade this PC. But beautiful thing is, if you already know how to upgrade one PC, that's it. And that's the SSD right there. It's an Intenso SSD, beautiful. And these are the two SSD holders. This is kind of typical of Fujitsu PCs to have these green uh, SSD rails. And you just have to keep that if you have to upgrade it. So this already comes with a 500 GB of SSD, but I still want to push this PC to the maximum of one terabyte SSD. So I'm going to be taking an SSD a one terabyte SSD and installing it right here. But the thing is, even if I have done the SSD, I still don't know where the RAM should be, but this place kind of tells me that something is right here because if you look closely, there's a knob. I don't know if you can see that. There's a knob right there. And that might possibly be where the DDR04 RAM is hiding. I'm just gonna go ahead and also take that up. Got my screwdriver. I'm just gonna pull that out like that and i really do hope this is where the ram slots is exactly what i imagined the ram slots are right there so if you look closely you're going to see the ram slot right there and the cpu cooler is right there underneath this panel here i don't know if you can see that but hope you can see that all right it's right here just going to raise it up so you can actually see it from the top that is the ram slots and that's the cpu cooler right there and the ssd comes in here Beautiful design, beautiful, everything is so compact. On this PC right now, we've got an 8 gigabyte of DDR04 RAM. I'm gonna also upgrade this to 16 gigabytes. So at the end of the day, we're gonna have a beautiful Fujitsu Esprimo all in one PC with an Intel 8 gen uh, called i5 processor with one terabyte of SSD as well as 16 gigabytes of DDR04 RAM. And this should be able to do whatever we want to do with this PC. We're gonna be testing things out on a later video, but this video is just to make you see that if you've got a machine like this, don't be stuck with the eight gigabyte that comes with it. Don't be stuck with the 512 gigabyte uh, SSD or so that comes with it. Go ahead, push it to the limit. You can push it to one terabyte of uh, SSD. You can push it to 16 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM, even more if you want to knock yourself out. So we're gonna go ahead and populate that. Thereafter, go ahead and couple the PC just like the way it is. And then go ahead switch it on to see have a first impression of what it looks like if you decide to get one of these bad boy here i've got right here another 8 gigabytes of ddr4 uh, ram so in total we should already have 16 gigabytes which is fine and right here is a one terabyte ssd so i'm just going to open that up and just go ahead and put this back in just like that okay so exactly where it's supposed to be i'm going to push it in when you do things like this, the only thing you have to be careful is that you don't force anything. Actually, when you are not used to the PC, it's a new PC. I never actually worked on this kind of PC before. So the only thing I can just do is to avoid um, any kind of error is to just make sure I'm kind of careful the way I push things. So this kind of looks a little bit tight, but I think it's right in to the end. So we don't go ahead, put back my SATA cable, just like that. This looks like all right good enough all right so ram comes back into place it's not there's not so much space to actually uh move your hands but if you are careful enough that shouldn't be a problem all right so second ram is right there so if you've done this this is exactly how it should look but well, this kind of look a little bit tight i don't know i'm not so sure if it's already at the end but it looks like there's no way to go further than that. I also don't want to push it too hard because if in the event I need to bring it out, then it's kind of easy to do. So this was exactly what we had when we opened it. The RAM cover was right here. So I'm going to put that back. I'm just going to make sure that it's properly locked. And this was exactly right here. I wasn't expecting it to be so easy like it came out. So what I'm going to do now is to go ahead so put my cables, connect it exactly the way it looks, and then we're gonna have a first impression of how this beautiful bad boy should be. So this is a system with full functionality. Doesn't matter what you're looking for. If you're looking for a system with a very good 
um, a processor, it has it. System with a headphone, microphone jack, it has it. USB 3.1, it has it. I forgot to mention that it also has a camera right here. So this is a perfect system. This is a perfect system, perfect for your school. Doesn't matter what you want to do with this PC, you should be able to find some great value in it. I can highly recommend it. I've not gotten one myself, but I kind of feel like this is exactly what I need right now. A compact system where if I want to transport it, should it be so hard for me to just grab it and then I'm on the go. I don't have to deal with so many connections. This is everything already in here. All I simply have to do now is to slap in my mouse, slap in my keyboard, slap in my power cable, and I'm good to go. So we've got uh, the mouse, the keyboard right there, keyboard right there, we've got the mouse. Put in, the way it looks, I don't really have to connect anything to an external monitor. This is just everything already here, compact. So I still have to grab my power cable and just slot it right in. And then we can actually take a look at what this PC has to offer. So for now, it's kind of rough what I'm doing, but this is just for test purposes. So this is how it looks. Power cable is right. And I'm just going to go ahead and push the power button. All right. Apparently, it's working, but it's so quiet. And that's the Fujitsu logo right there. You have absolutely no idea how quiet this is. Kind of checking media. I wouldn't know why it's doing that, but I can always uh, break that. Just click on no because I don't want to run that. Because I want to go to the BIOS, just going to keep hit my F12 key for Fujitsu PC. It's pretty much F12 key, takes you to the BIOS. So we can actually see exactly what this PC has to offer. Then we we'll go to the system information. We see that's a core i5, 8500 processor. We have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. This is simply beautiful. So let's say you are looking for something right now in the market. We are not so sure what direction to look towards. I want to highly recommend this PC. It's a PC that I really do think is very, very practical. It doesn't take up a lot of space. You don't have to be worried about what kind of monitor you have to buy. You just have one complete set and all in one set that gives you everything I really want in a PC. It gives you a very good monitor. It gives you a lot of ports, USB ports, USB 3.1 ports. It gives you a camera also and above all the pc is highly highly quiet so that it doesn't matter where you want to work with it you are absolutely sure that you won't be disturbing any other person the beautiful thing is that this is not really out of budget you can actually get something like this decent configuration for less than 400 euros you want to consider it and sure to go to the link in the description below you will pretty much find something that's going to meet your need if this video helps you do me a favor go ahead and click on the like button subscribe to the channel until i see you again peace Thank you.